What's happening my generals and angels? This is part 4 of my life story. Can you relate? My generals and angels. The two vacant rooms that the farmer took us to see was immaculate. Freshly painted and looked spotless. Just the way grandma liked to have our place. It also had a nice big yard. But I wasn't impressed at all. We drove for what seems like hours. But eventually... I found out it only took us half an hour to get there. Can you imagine walking it? It could take maybe two hours or more to walk it back. Or will I get to see and play with my friends? I could really do with that bite my mom and promise me right now. It seemed like grandma was negotiating with the owner of the house. I secretly hoped they wouldn't come to an agreement because this is way too far yo, which makes it difficult for me to see and play with my friends. This was another sad moment for me but I remember my sister telling me to be strong so I composed myself and try not to think about it too much. All my hopes depending on the agreement between grandma and the lady who owns this house. Who knows, grandma might be thinking the same thing I am thinking. She might want to stay closer to her friends. Actually, maybe not, after the way they let her down when she really needed them most. But grandma doesn't hold grudges anyway, so I'm sure she will be missing them. Grandma is coming towards me. Why is she smiling? Why is she looking so pleased? No, are you thinking what I am thinking? This is our new home, little tiger, said grandma. Not what I wanted to hear at all, yo. I kept getting separated from everyone around me. Why? My mother, my siblings, no my friends. It all started when the bald-headed crow beak like nose, strange peaking dude came into our lives. What's this? Our furniture getting dropped off? <gasps> A few of grandma's friends came to help us with our things. Oh man, this makes it official, yo. We are staying. Let's look at the brighter side, yo. It could be worse. At least it's not the goat's pen. Thank you, Lord, for this roof over our heads. There was a family in the area with a lot of children in my age bracket and grandchildren too. This made it easier for me to settle in. Their mother and father came over to introduce themselves. They were called the Saturns. They were living in a massive house on top of a hill. I noticed a few of the younger children lingering around, trying to get my attention. It was as though they were stalking me out, which was kind of creepy. It's okay, Tiger. Go on. Play with them. Have fun. I don't want to, I replied. Grandma sat me down on her lap and said, I know you're missing your friends, but sometimes change is good. It might be scary at first and nerve wracking and different. I was thinking, too different for me and what if the change is not good this time? A few weeks had passed and I became good friends with them, my generals and angels. I hate to admit it but I'm actually having fun with my new friends after being stalked by them for many days. I went to the river with them. They've got a lot of animals that we chase, caught and rode on. But I still didn't forget my old friends though. Even though I see them at school every day. But it's not the same. I miss walking home with them. After school, going around each other's houses. But now, we are miles apart. We settled well in the new house, though grandma sometimes find it difficult to keep up with the rent. My grandma was working as a helper at the police station, but still we were behind with the payments. My grandma decided to make greater cake, coconut drops and sock sock, which is a drink poured into a small plastic bag that placed in the freezer to form ice. We generated a little extra cash from the sales for a few months. It made our lives a bit better for a little while. 
we eventually had to stop though because the landlady didn't like so many people coming in and out of our yard which was understandable so we stopped selling all those things a few of grandma friends kept saying how bad it was for the landlady to stop us from making a living but grandma held no grudges she's just happy that we still have a place to live my generals and angels can you relate to any of my experiences this was a lesson for me I realized that I was prioritizing the wrong things my friends are important to me but a roof over our heads is more important but as a child I don't look at it that way that's my parents problem but in this case my grandma's problem my generals and angels I lay down on my bed staring at the ceiling reminiscing about the fun I used to have with my friends I do miss them a lot but the change has given me a different perspective in life and a roof over our heads even though I was homeless for a day though it seems like a lifetime yo with all them challenges and obstacles that we encountered you can learn two things from changes one it doesn't work so that's one step backward and two it works so you move forward it's like an experiment in this case it worked for us so I guess it benefited us my generals and angels please stay tuned for part 5 of my life story and remember that change is an experiment that can work either way so be open minded please remember to like share and click on that notification bell and subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss the next video thanks for watching y'all